In this module, I'm going to show you guys how to grab an IGIS file and prepare the model for work in a measurement session. I usually like to do this if I can. If I can grab the IGIS file before I start measuring, that's typically the, the best thing to do. Sometimes you don't have that, uh, that convenience, so um, I'm also going to go through a module that will show you how to collect the data and then how to align the data after the measurement session. And then maybe a couple days later, all of a sudden, here comes your CAD model. So we will do that as an example as well in another module. But here, I'm going to pull this CAD model in first. I've already opened up my SAT file here in inches. Okay, I'm going to be pulling up this CAD file that was created in inches of this solution tank. What I'm going to do is I'll go import CAD, and then I will run over to the client, and I will pull this CAD file right here. And it's going to start to read that file in, and it's going to take some time. So I might just uh, speed up the video right at this point. Okay, here my CAD file has made it in now. Took it almost a minute. 4,000 some entities here. And here it is. It looks like wireframe, but there's actually surface data as well coming through this IGES file. So when you guys do an import on the CAD, or I should say when you do uh, an export on your CAD file coming out of your CAD system, Make sure that it contains wireframe and surface data, not solid data. Always wireframe and surface data. Then we can take each individual surface that we want to align to or that we want to measure to, and uh, the model actually has that as a separate entity or as a separate surface patch. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have some surfaces on this tank that I'm going to measure some surface points to to do my iterative alignment. Now, I don't have any datums on the drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up on surfaces or features on the on the part that are going to be mutually perpendicular to each other. Like I will rotate around just a little bit here and walk you through that. I'm just picking on something to rotate about. This top portion is actually where a lid will seat. I'm going to consider that to be one of my my A datums. I'm going to say that multiple surfaces on there will solve for the up down component. And then if I rotate this way, there are two areas. There's one here and one here. Those are actually hinge data or hinge surfaces. That's where a hinge plate will actually mount for side to side. And then if I rotate just a little bit more, and again, I know it's tough to see because it's wireframe, but in the front portion, there's a couple small little panels, like here's one here and then the other one here. Those little areas, I'm going to use that to solve for, uh, for the fore aft component. Right, So the only thing I can do now is I'm going to get out of the rotate and look at review features. The only thing that's, uh, that's available now or only thing that is in review features is just the device position right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from screen. So I click on the from screen and then I'm going to move with my pan keys and my I key for in and out or in. This surface right here, this top of this of this surface patch right here, I'm going to consider that to be one of my, my A targets. So right now I'm still in the from screen. I'm going to highlight that and look at all of the faces that I've got available to choose from. All right, so you're reading this IGES file and there's a bunch of data there. Pharaoh just doesn't have a name for it. So we're going to go find that top surface patch. That looks like the bottom of the material. There we go. That looks like the top surface. I'm going to highlight that face and then it's uh, wanting to name that and put that into my review features. So I'm going to call that, uh, let's call it target A1. Actually I'll just call it A1. So A1 and I'll say OK. So what it's done is it's grabbed a surface patch from the IGES file and it's made it or we've actually given it a name in our in our review features now. Here I am, it's highlighting it red one more time. So if I right mouse key, look what it's doing. Is It's actually populating in my review features. So now I've got a nominal A1, and it's actually a surface. There's no points on it, but it's coming out as a surface. And if I look at the details, the tab tells me it's a surface from the CAD. 
Well, that's perfect. That's what I want. So let's do that for the rest of them as well. So now let's go from screen. And then I'm going to go with the arrow keys. I'm going to pan up to this area right here, this back end. I'll highlight some place in this general area here. And I'm picking up some faces. In my opinion, that's short for surface. But here it is, the face that I'm looking for. That looks like the top of the material because this guy looks like the bottom or the material thickness, the bottom of it. I'll click on that face there, and I'm just going to call that A2. Let's say OK. And then it highlights that surface red. I won't hit the right mouse key this time. I will progress to the next little surface patch with my arrow keys here, kind of like this top here. We'll click on it, and let's say it looks like that face right there. So I'll highlight him. I'll give him a name, A3. And again, I love to name everything that I measure or anything that I dimension or any surface that I pull out of the CAD. I always give it a name that makes sense. Okay, I will say okay to that. Now, I'll zoom out just a little bit here. And then what I wanted to do was maybe a couple points on this front section here. And I know that's hard to see, but there's a lip right here. And based on the picture, you'll see that there's a lip around there too. So let me pick on, in fact, I will zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. I'll highlight, I just click in that surface. Here I get a couple other options. I have things called bodies. Okay, we don't want to pick the bodies. We want to pick up on entities that are actually surface which is this face. So let me scroll down, page down, page down. Of course, it is the last thing I pick. Isn't that always the case? So I pick up on this face here. It looks like the top of material. And I'm going to call that A4. All right, and I'll say OK to that. What's nice about that surface, that surface appears to wrap all the way around from the right side of the tank all the way to the left side of the tank. So that's cool. Maybe I'll put a couple surface points on that to allow my iterative alignment to solve for that surface. Very good. So now I'll hit the right mouse key and you'll see all of my surfaces are now in review features. Okay, very good. Well, I'm not done yet. I'm going to go from screen again. I'll zoom out just a little bit and move around with my, my arrow keys. What I want to do is track these surfaces of this B datum in that hinge location. So what I'll do, I'll hit my my 8 key here a second, puts it into this ISO view, and then I will zoom in on this rear portion of this surface patch here. Okay, this is where the hinge is going to mount for side to side. So I want to pick up on the face that associates to that. Could be that one there. Yeah, that looks like a little different surface patch. And that definitely is not it. So yeah, it must be this guy here. And I will call that B, B rear. Say OK to that. Highlights that surface. Now I'll scroll over here. And I will pick up on this one here, right, where I hit the left mouse key. It looks like that's the face there. And again, I kind of look through all of those faces just to make sure and make completely sure that I'm picking up on the right side of material. Call that B front. Hit the uh, enter key there. Now what I've got are those two surfaces that are used for the hinge plate. Those are already, already red, so I've got those in my review features. Now what I'll do is I will go to the front portion, this little window right here, this little surface patch. I'll hit I key. I want that to be a, a datum that's going to stop this tank for fore aft. I'm going to call it a C. Okay, it's not that one. That one that could be it. No, that one looks like the outside of material. So I will click on that. And I'm going to call that C front left. Now I'm going to want to do that on the, on the right side as well. So let me hit the 7 key and move on down. That's the isometric to get me to this view. And then I'll highlight that surface there. Let me guess, it's going to be my last choice. No, it's not. Okay. That's not it. Oh, yeah, let me guess. It's the first choice this time. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to click on that face right there, and I'm going to call that C front left, and I hit Enter. 
All right, now I've got those surfaces. Now I can hit the right mouse key and they get populated into my review features. So all of those surfaces are now in review features, which is awesome. Now I can use these to send surface points to them and I'll say okay. Then what I want to do is definitely do a file save. Now that I've got that data in there, I'll call it solution tank surface data and let that save out there as an SAT file. That's going to be the foundational file that I'm going to use when I get to my client or when I receive the parts on my campus and I'll start measuring directly to that. So now all of those datums are prepared for my measurement session. So go ahead and grab yourself an IGES file and make sure that it contains wireframe and surface data so that you can go in and pick and choose individual surface patches and populate those into your review features. Now the next module you'll see the tank actually up on a fixture and we will put that into an alignment based on the iterative alignment.